Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And today I would like to explain the correction of astigmatism using bladeless cataract surgery. Now this has become widely available with uh, two of the main laser systems you may hear about are Alcon's LensX laser and AMO's Catalyst laser. But these are an adaptation of the femtosecond laser technology that we have been using for LASIK in order to create the flap in the cornea at the time of surgery. Now, by adjusting this laser and uh, using similar technology, we can now use this to do several steps of the cataract procedure, including opening the lens, softening the lens, creating corneal incisions, and the one that we'll go into detail today is creating astigmatic keratotomy incisions to reduce astigmatism. Now with this, the laser basically creates a series of pulses that uh, create many bubbles in the cornea that can have the effect of basically cutting the cornea. Now, in order to lower the astigmatism, these cuts or incisions are placed in the cornea in the steep area. So where the cornea is too steep, this incision goes through most of the depth of the cornea and it allows it to open some and relax where that curvature is not so steep anymore. Depending on the length of the incision uh, is related to the effect that we get or how much the astigmatism that we want to treat. Now with this, it is not as accurate as placing a toric lens implant, which can help to treat the astigmatism more accurately, or using a laser-like LASIK procedure to treat the astigmatism. But the main goal with this is to reduce the astigmatism to bring it to a lower level. Now, many people have astigmatism. I have a little bit myself, but since it is a small amount, I don't need to use any correction for it. And fortunately, I don't have any nearsightedness or farsightedness, so I can see very well without glasses. So with this, astigmatism, once it gets down to a lower level, it doesn't cause much problem with the vision. And that's the main goal of reducing it using the laser. So let me know if you have any questions about this procedure. We'd be happy to answer them, and we hope to see you again soon next time on State of Sight.